next we're going to do on how to create custom jobs the reason we want to do a custom job is because you can have a collection of parameters running all at the same time it, um, it's much more efficient uh, the sampling rate is not affected you can run about 10 to 12 parameters all at the same time and you don't really want to run more than that just because it starts to bog down a little bit so this video is about creating custom jobs so once you confirm that your computer is is connected what you want to do is you want to just double click on this um, line it's, it says DDE 7.3 for N57 don't get swayed by the US side always select this one don't ask me why that's the way it is that's the way Testo is, has set it up here under jobs you could see a lot of different um, different jobs that that exist or or that you create okay so after that you can select one of these jobs and and run it just by double clicking but this video is about creating a custom job you go to tools select custom jobs expand this window a little bit it's so just easier to work with go to this selector of your computers and select the one that we want to run which is D73N57C0 that's the uh, code for our M57 um, DDE 7.3 that runs on North American um, BMW 335 diesel as well as uh, X5 diesel we already created uh, created the sample one but what do you do then you um, clicked click new job it pops up don't change the ECU name don't change the virtual name but you can name your job um, in the last in the last field so we'll name this one does project 57 sample one for example and we'll save that like that now What's important at this point is to uh, select the right parameters that you want this job to run. And the way you do it is you click table. Table is where you will search for your parameters. So this one has thousands of it. You need to know which ones you want to add. So in this video we're going to show you some basic parameters that you can add to a custom job. What we suggest is, or what we usually do, is we run the same set of parameters in every job that we do. Unless it's very specific, something you want to focus on specific. But what we suggest is always run RPM parameter, always run your throttle um, or pedal position, not throttle, always run your speed, and always run your gear. So what that does, those four parameters, is you will always be able to see what you are doing at that time especially when you're trying to diagnose something specific let's say a limp mode or when a code pops up or 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 anything like that um, because you will know what were you doing with your pedal how fast were you going what was the engine rpm and what gear you were in so we're going to add those four now so we are going to add the four parameters now and what you do is in your table uh, the table window you go into search and you basically search for these parameters so we're gonna give them to you now for vehicle speed is you type in I V K M H and then it pops up now you can always search by whatever whatever name you want you can go by short name you can go by ID you can go by by a full name um, but it's just much easier you know whatever the shorter is uh, some of them are too long so you could you have to go by ID by 0x 0b40 or something like that now once it pops up here and you found it just double click on it and there in your uh, custom job it's been added so now we're going to add um, pedal value. Pedal value is IFPWG. It's not case sensitive. And there it is, IFPWG. Double click and it gets added to your custom job. Then we'll go 
and add gear. And gear is I G A B E. Now there's a few of these, so we're gonna scroll and find the one that has a short name like that. And we're gonna double click on that, and there it is in our custom job. And the last one that we want to add is the engine RPM. And engine RPM is I N M O T. And there's your engine RPM. And double click, and it gets added. So there you are. So here's your custom job with the four parameters that we suggest to run all the time. Now, how do you delete a parameter? It's very easy. Select the parameter, hit delete. Done. So I'm just going to re-add this uh, engine RPM back. So these are the four parameters that, uh, that we want to run all the time. And then you can add other parameters here, boost, air, fuel, um, any specific ones that you want to run, um, anything you want. So what you can do is you can run this job from here by just simply clicking start your job, or you can pick it from a list when you first, uh, when you first connect. So we're going to show you how to, how to run that now and how it looks. So what we'll do is we will Actually, we're not going to start a vehicle. We're going to start this job. And if this window shows up like that, and tells you the units that, that these parameters are run, you know, RPM, percentage, gear is in, in just gear. So here, what you can do is you can mark all. This is a real-time readout. You can click multi-plot. So your gear will be in red, your pedal in green, speed is in blue, and, um, and RPM is in light blue. So we're going to start the vehicle. This is on X5, diesel, and this is a real-time readout. Now it's not recording at this point just reading out. Now if I go and let's say shift to reverse, nothing happens. If I shift to drive, there's, there's our parameter. So drive shows as one, first gear. Okay? If I shift to reverse, well it shows also shows one. No, nope, shows zero. Okay, we'll go back to park. Now, in order to record this, what you do is you go tools, you go data logger. What you do in your data logger is you click start. Okay, minimize, maximize your window. It's nice like this too because as you drive, somebody can help you. Let's say if you're diagnosing something, you're, uh, you know, somebody can watch it and say, hey, this is what what this parameter is doing. This is how they compare requested versus actual value, or, or this is this is what's happening in real time. And you can play it back to that sort of timestamp, and then and then and then uh, kind of recall that back. But sometimes if you're doing diagnosis together, then it's also very useful to kind of do it on the screen like that. Now, if I go with the, uh, remember, we're also logging throttle pedal here. If I go with a throttle pedal, mm, it's not working. Hang on. Sometimes what you need to do is you need to, it's not, not perfect, but what you need to do is you need to multiply it again, and then it will rescale things for you. There you go. So the reason being is because our each parameter here is in different values. So the gear is, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six. RPMs are, you know, from zero to you know five thousand. Then you got throttle from zero to a hundred is in percentage. So we're running different scales of different parameters. Sometimes it messes things up, so you need to go back and then re, uh, re sort of restart your multi-plot screen. So. 
that you could see here, um, they're all, they're not relative to each other. They're kind of on their own, especially when you compare parameters with different scale, uh, different scales. But as you're reading out, you can see here, right? So this was, you know, your throttle's at zero, your RPM, you know, jump to 1500 and whatnot. So this is what, this is, this is how you can do it. Now, we're gonna shut it down. And what you could do is close your multi-plot window. Stop recording. Okay. This is your custom job. Just to also show quickly how you can find this custom job, you can, once you're, let's say if you're connected, and you can do it from um, just accessory. You don't need to turn on ignition or anything like that. So to find your custom job in the job list, just select your um, 7.3 for N57, and then either type in how your job starts if you remember it or just find it from a list you can double click it from here and launch the job from here um, we see that we can do that and we're an accessory power you can just go back mark all multi-plot and then you'll see your you know what's going on same thing you go tools data logger and you can start logging anyway we're going to show you how to play back your job so what you could do is, same thing, go to Tools, go to Playback, and it goes by date. So this is, this is the job, it, it has a date stamp. So you can just double click on that, open, and load it up, maximize your window, and then here you can you can drag it around so you can zoom in zoom out you can also turn on different different parameters right so and that's useful when you're working with you know 10 to 12 parameters you just want to look at let's say you know boost versus rpm or boost versus pedal uh, or actual versus requested boost versus let's say a pedal input or something like that so then um it becomes a very useful tool and um, you can also find these files they'll be under your test of folders uh, you can load them into Excel if you want you can play it that way um, you know if you like you can look look at the raw data you can analyze it do stats on it whatever you want to do but within Testo it's it's really nice and then this if you move your um, move your mouse um, on different uh, different points it tells you know in a, in a top um, the top left hand corner it'll tell you what was the value for that parameter in that parameter's units uh, or what was the value at that time for example here we were at you know 8% throttle position or a pedal position rather and then 1374 RPM so that's how it works in the next videos we'll show you a more specific parameters related to boost fueling air um, you know kind of gives you give you a few useful ones and then uh, if, uh, if you want, you can comment and then, and then we can maybe do some more specific parameters of whatever is of interest to, uh, to different people. But we'll try to give useful ones uh, that, that, that could be applicable uh, to everyday situations or some common problems that, that vehicles could experience. And then um, that will be a good start.